Good evening, Christine Consmore here. I'm going to do a quick review of the Historical Fencing Armory, or HF Armory as some of you may know it, sparring gloves. And I'm going to be comparing them to the Spess Heavy Lobsters. So I did a poll on my Instagram about a month ago when I got these gloves, like two of you answered, so that was enough for me. And to the two of you watching, let's do this. Here is the glove. This is a glove meant for full contact sparring with like long sword, arming sword, a sword without a complex hilt because it is meant to protect the hand really well, which it does. So this is a size small. I am a size seven and a half, um, if that tells you anything. I definitely do not have the smallest hands in HEMA and initially these smalls were almost too small for me like they were a really tight fit and I thought that I should have gone up to the medium. Now that I've worn them in a bit um, they, they do feel like they're an okay fit um, but if they're almost too small for me that's great because that means that the extra small being even smaller we're accessing a large segment of the market which I think have been neglected by HEMA glove producers for a long time now. People with tiny hands there hasn't been good gloves for them. So I'm hoping the extra small on these will access that market um, and, and help them have better sparring and competing experiences. So again, these are the smalls, as I said, really tight fit in the beginning. Um, I was frustrated by them that they were also too stiff, I would say. And I just felt like I could not get a good grip on the sword. I felt like I, it kept falling out of my hand because it was so like slick on the inside. I got annoyed, I abandoned them, I went back to my lobsters, um, and then I just thought, I've got to push through it. So I, <laughs> like with, you know, those of you who have done ballet, point shoes, you have to break them in. I broke these in, and now I'm really, really happy with them. So I'm going to compare these to the lobsters, Spess lobsters. Very similar construction, the um, plastic articulation in the front, I guess. These are called lobsters because they look like a lobster back. These are both smalls. Uh, as you can see, this small from Spess is a lot bigger than this small, which means that I, I would argue that they're too big for a small. They're too big for me, who again, doesn't have very small hands. So there's some very obvious similarities about them, but there are some very um, pronounced differences as well. I think one of the big ones is the thumb, right? So this thumb needs some work. I know that when I get hit there, it is very painful from others that I've spoken to. I don't think I'm alone in that experience. This thumb protects really well. I've never experienced any pain getting hit there. I've been using these for about a month now. I do a lot, a lot of sparring. Hand hits are always a target for us. So having good, um, not only hand, but like thumb protection as well is just imperative. Another difference between these is the inner glove. As I said, this is a single mitten. Spess has two fingers, which provides dexterity that does make a difference, especially if you're changing your grip a lot. If you like to feel um, the, the grip and the pummel in your hand, this does make a difference. I wish that these had those two fingers. Another thing, if you can see that there, there is a seam on the inside, which lands about here on this joint, and it makes it harder to open the hand up. I think it's super annoying. I wish that seam wasn't there. Um, the inner glove on the Spess Lobsters are a lot softer and I do prefer them. However, in the beginning, I did initially have the same issue with it being too slick and the pummel not sitting right and it just sliding around. Something that I do with some of my swords is that I'll actually um, sand down the pummel to make it like rougher so that it sticks in the palm better. I would never do something <laughs> like that to a sword as beautiful as a Siggy concept, but I've done it to some of my other sparring swords, which are already dinged up anyway. I don't want to have to do that though. I want the inner glove to be of good quality and I want it to be rough so that you have good friction and can, and can grip the pummel well without it sliding around. I don't know if anyone else feels this way, um, but I certainly do. Another difference here, they both have these like rivets in construction, but I feel like the HF Armory ones have more of them and that the construction is a lot more solid. Like I said, I've been using these for over a month and I get hit in the hands a lot and they are in fantastic condition, as good as when I first got them. In fact, even better because I've worn them in. These are my second or third pair of lobsters. Um, and while they're incredible gloves, they do have a tendency to fall apart rather quickly. 
especially with these ties here. These ties keep falling off. And when they do, I have to replace them with my hair tie and then those fall off and it's just a point of frustration. It makes me have to stop sparring, fix that thing and go back to it. Um, I'd like to see these be a little bit more solidly constructed, especially on the thumb. All right, so another difference here is the wrist part. As I mentioned, this is a solid piece of plastic and while it's rather short, it is long enough that it causes some problems when you're flexing backwards, which makes it difficult to do some techniques. Something that I really don't like about these as well is this opening on the wrist here. So that is potentially dangerous. If your jacket doesn't go all the way up to your wrist and it's exposed here and you get a jagged blade there, that can be a bad situation. So I don't understand why this is open. Um, that being said, you could make the argument that you should have a good jacket with at least 350 newtons of force resistance or something there protecting your wrist, but it's just, if you're using these gloves, make sure that wrist is covered. So with the spes, you don't have to think about that because this is longer and it goes all the way around. It's softer, this is leather here. There is some padding on the inside and um, there are some, I think plastic inserts, I'm guessing is what they are, but they're so wide. I mean, if, you have small hands, and again, these are a size small, then you probably have small forearms. And I just don't understand why you need this much space, even if you have forearm protectors underneath. When I use these, my cross guard keeps getting stuck under there. Um, my opponent's blade gets stuck under there. It's just a point of frustration, and I, I don't understand it. I feel like one of these segments could be removed, and it would fit a lot better. Right, so... Um, those are the initial impressions. I do also want to say that that size difference, it, it has um, a real impact when you are sparring or competing and your hands are a target. That larger profile, I do feel like I get hit more on the hands with these than I do with these. And I, I don't want that unnecessary target. It's like you don't want any of your gear to be too bulky. It should lay low against your body, against your hands, and um, minimize the target as much as possible. So I like these gloves. I just wish that they were a lot smaller and a little bit more solidly constructed. So something I also want to say regarding the inner gloves on these is that um, the, the, the best ones, these are just like a gray and I never had any like residue from them. These have been obviously uh, dyed black and Whenever I wear them and I'm sparring with them and I'm sweating, my palms are black and I have to like scrub them with soap for a long time to, to get that color off. And I just don't understand what kind of dye they use or why they use so much of it. Like after a month of use, why are my palms still turning black after I use them? It's just, it's just, it's not great. Um, but that's a small price to pay for an otherwise fantastic glove, right? Like it's fine. I can wash my hands afterwards. I do wash my hands afterwards, but I can do it an extra time to get those um, <laughs> that, that die off. So all in all, I will say that um, despite the lack of dexterity or the maybe reduced dexterity with these gloves, I prefer them to this best because I feel like they protect my hands better overall, especially the thumb, and that lower profile makes a huge difference. I just wish that they could find a way to put in um, uh, like a, a little bit better inner glove, which provides better mobility of the fingers and a better like feeling when you're gripping the sword, right? Is there anything else I wanted to say about these? I think that's pretty much it. They're both great gloves. If you haven't, haven't tried them out, do. I want to say about historical fencing armory, they're in Ukraine and any chance to support Ukraine we should be taking right now. And it's even great, better that they're a part of our community doing, um, doing HEMA. They had great customer service. When I ordered these gloves, they shipped them out as soon as I made my payment. Any questions I had, they were incredibly quick to respond, very professional and polite, which is just massively impressive considering what they're going through right now. So kudos to them. Um, a, a third pair of gloves, which I would like to try is the Kfetun gloves, which are very similar to both of these. Um, they look great, they look very similar. I've seen them, but I haven't tried them, so I don't have any comments on them at this point, but hopefully sometime in the future. All right, I'm gonna wrap this up. I hope this has been informative and that you have a little bit of a better impression on the HF Armory gloves and definitely give them a try if you do full contact sparring and you wanna keep your hands safe. These are fantastic.